Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, going to go over a story title. My ex had a breakdown after I caught her cheating. And guys, this story is all about a guy who truly handles his situation like a boss when he finds out, finds out the girlfriend that he really thought he had a good thing going with was cheating on him. Gets actual proof without a shadow of a doubt it's her. And upon finding this, instead of turning into a drama fest, ha handles it like a boss. And to no surprise, she doesn't take it too well and is having like a mental breakdown all that. And then you're going to see when her friends try to get involved, he also handles it like a boss. But listen to this. This guy is a Marine. Or should I say a guy, he's left the Corps, he's in school now, but he's always a Marine, of course. And this guy, it, shows, it goes to show you don't mess with a Marine. And guys, the theme of this whole story is once you find out your girl's cheating on you, it's over. End it. End of story. And what happens to her afterwards, like she goes in this whole panic attack and meltdown because of something she caused, it's not your problem. And don't let anybody try to persuade you or guilt trip you or shame you into doing what you don't want to do as and being involved with someone like that. And there's, there's a whole bunch of people in this world that think that's an okay tactic and it works for them. Don't be that guy. And you're going to see here, this guy handles it well. It says here, uh, this is a throwaway account because I have too much pride to ask normally. I dislike talking about myself, but I guess I have two for context. I met Anna in college. Before that, I served five years as a combat engineer for the Marines. I did I did things and had things done to me that as much as I want to expand on, I don't want to expand on that. I got out of the Marines and immediately enrolled in my local college. I was still definitely in my in the transition period between military and civilian life and all its ups and downs. Missing my boys, frustration at how regular people acted, all the crap that every vet goes through. I was lucky and found a group that adopted me basically. Yeah, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband, who's a, a Navy doctor, he's going to have a tough time pretty soon transitioning into civilian life working at the hospital because he's done that a little bit, like, somehow, some way. And believe me, working military hospitals versus civilian, it's going to be interesting seeing him transition that permanently in a couple of years. Uh, Adam was one of them, and we hit off right away. Eventually, both got the courage to go out, and long story short, we started dating. We dated for seven months. I thought everything was great. How many times you guys heard that? We went on dates. I got her gifts and made sure to meet her outside for class every day so I could walk her home. That is too nice, dude. Every day, making sure you can walk her home. That, that's, that's nice guy shit. You know, it, it's, that's going too far. I'm glad you're having a good time with her, but just too much. That gives girls certainty. And I don't think this is relevant, but I've seen these stories on TikTok, so I guess I have to say that the SEX life was good as well, but that was never important to me. I love cuddling with her, talking to her, and just being around her. Okay, dude, I'm going to freaking barf here. And, and right here you can hear that. I love the cuddling with her and talking to her and all that. It sounds to me like this dude is way too much into the relationship, way more into the relationship than she was. And you're about to see that that's true. And when a guy's way more into the relationship than the gal is, that puts him in a bad place. And usually that's when bullshit happens. Three weekends ago, an old friend from the Corps was getting out and was driving across country back to his home. And he would pass through our city, so I offered for him to stay with me. I have an apartment with my brother. We decided to go out like old times, wandering through uh, red light districts on Liberty during deployment. Oh, uh, like the old days. But obviously this guy wasn't doing things in red light districts. And just like that, he got so drunk, he wandered off, and I lost him. Eventually, we found each other and got back. The next morning, my friend said that he had something he needed to show me. Uh-oh, what could that be? He said he didn't remember that night, but he had pictures on his phone. It was blurry because of his wobbly ass and the club lights, but it was a picture of Anna grinding on another dude. Remember the girlfriend he's having an amazing time with, and he walks home from school every day, just like the fucking movies, and he loves cuddling with her and being with her, and there she is, off at the club, grinding some other dude. Goodbye. It's over. I don't care if she just, it was just dancing or whatever. Nope. Uh-uh. I was sure of it. It was taken from a club down the road from the bar that I originally lost my friend at. I was never one to leap without looking, so I decided to give her the benefit of the doubt. 
So good job, Marine. Keep your cool. Just investigate a bit. We're in the capital city of our state. How many women who look like her were in our, our city anyway? I went to class, and afterwards I tracked down Anna's BFF. They always go out together, so if she was at the club, the BFF would 100% be there. So I found her and asked her if they went out last night. She denied it, so I said it was weird because my friend saw Anna, and the friend started stammering and saying he was mistaken. She started stammering, huh? In other words, uh... She was caught in a lie. And while he was drunk enough, he very well could have been... Uh, her reaction was just so unbelievable, it sealed the deal for me. I just said, uh-huh, sure. And walked away and continued my day as normal. So now the friend knows this guy's on to her. So what do you think the friend's going to do? You know darn well she's gonna immediately going to text her call Anna, the girlfriend. But that was very healthy, but I can, I can dissociate on command and just continue on until I got through some of the worst times in the core. So I just think I fell back into it. You never rise to the occasion when you fall in your training. I didn't wait for Anna after class. First time since we started dating. So she gets out of class and he's not there. And the girlfriend, her friend's texting her about things. When I got back to my house, I don't really know why, but I put on my old combat boots and went running. I ran until the sun went down and realized I had left my phone on my bed. I got back to I got back to a million texts and missed calls from Anna. She's freaking out. Uh, her text her text chain was textbook stages of grief. She tried telling me it wasn't her. You heard that here, wasn't her. Then she berated me for not talking to her. Which turned out into which turned into her begging that I respond. And then her text started getting getting bad, and she admitted it was her, but nothing happened. Then she went down the list as to saying it was only a dance. Then too, I only kissed him once. Two, it was just one time, and it meant nothing. So right there, guys, she's having a freaking meltdown. First, wasn't me. Then yelling at him for not responding to the things. Then admitting, okay, I lied, it was me. And then admitted, oh, it was just a dance. Oh, well, we just kissed. I only kissed once. Oh, it was just one time. Didn't mean anything. Trickle truth and trickle truth. Look what, how she responded when this guy just didn't, he, he, wasn't, he, was, he wasn't by the phone, but she didn't know that. What happens when a guy gives a woman silence? When he walks away or just doesn't respond? They lose it. And anyhow, it meant nothing, and to, to hundreds of words of her just melting down that I wouldn't even talk to her. And even if I did have my phone on me, I don't know what I've done. I don't know if I would have. I had nothing to say to her. The text barrage just ended with her repeating that she was so sorry. I texted her back, it's over, and blocked her. Dude, you're the king. That's it. He didn't engage with her. He didn't listen to her bullshit. Right there, two words. It's over and blocked on everything. Can you imagine the meltdown she's having now? Good for him. Once again, I fell back on my training. Well, I mean trauma, and I just walled myself off. I'm fully aware that none of this is healthy, but shit happens. I just continued on. I ignored the friend group because the way I see it, they were her friends before they were mine, and I won't ask them to choose, so I'll stay away. Which sucked because they were my only friends at school. Well, this guy's about to see just how good of friends these people were. Let's continue for a while until yesterday I was cornered by the group and they started telling me how Anna had a mental breakdown as in a really bad place. Um, I'd be like, and how's this my fault? She was out at the club. She was grinding on a guy, kissing him, doing Lord knows what. She denied it at first and then finally it confessed. We're done. I'm, I'm done with this bullshit. End of story. She's having a meltdown. Get her some help. You're her friends. Done. Unfortunately, they don't see it that way because that's just today's world. Apparently, she won't leave her room and spends all her time looking at pictures of us. That she loved me and the other guy meant nothing. Well, that makes it even worse that she was willing to destroy this so-called good relationship over a guy that meant nothing. Tough shit. I just started, I just stared at them blankly. And then her best friend started demanding, demanding guys, 
that I go see her and apologize for what I'm putting her through, saying, don't you even know the hell she's going through right now because of you? So let's see if I got this straight. She went out and did the cheating and lied about it and then trickled truth and then finally admitted it. And he ended with her. And he's the bad guy because she's having a meltdown losing. That's how these people freaking operate. So, bro, these were never your friends and they certainly are not now. Tell her friend to go suck one. The amount of strength it took for me not to break my bearing and start in on all of them was astronomical. And holy crap, I thought they were my friends. This little cornering just shed any last fuck I had. So I just responded, I know, I just don't care. <laughs> oh, that made him crazy. And by the way, I want to point something out. Because this guy obviously was so good to this girl, that girl's perception of him was that she could do all that and he'd take her back. And he shocked her by not only dumping her, but just saying, it's over, end of story. And this group of friends of hers, their perception of him is that he was so into her and so nice that they could just browbeat him into this. They were wrong. They're messing with the wrong Marine. Now listen to this. And I started walking away. One of my ex-friends tried to stop me, but stood down when I pushed him aside. One of these morons, obviously this was a guy, actually had the nerve, the balls, the gall to get in front of a Marine and try to block him. Guys, my best friend for six years who I trained in the martial arts every almost every day of the week was a Marine. Is a Marine, was a Marine, whatever. They're always Marines. And this dude was the baddest mother effer I've ever met in my life. The toughest guy I've ever met in my life. The nicest guy would do anything for anybody, but it was also the most feared guy in the dojo. Not because he was a jerk, but because of what he's capable of. And made me the best I could be, martial arts. You don't mess with a Marine. Ever. <laughs> oh. It says here, I know Anna has a history of mental instability. Well, then you should have been with her, dude. She's had a few incidents in high school, but her doctor, but her doctor finally found the right cocktail to put her on, and she was better. And I meant that and I meant what I said that I really don't care if Anna won't leave her room. If she does something stupid and hurts herself, I might care again. As much as she hurt me, she's still a human being, and I don't want that for anyone. I hope my ex-friends help her. She needs support, not not a shitty job at intimidating me to forgive her. So I guess the advice I'm asking here for is it doesn't make sense. Do I make sure she's okay? Should I go at least to make sure she's okay? We won't ever have what we had before, but I don't want her doing anything stupid, and I'm willing to sacrifice my emotions for that. Should I go make sure she's okay? No, don't do that. And here's why. Guess what? She brought this all on herself. She did all this, and then had the nerve to have her friends go give you shit in a hard time. No. Because if you go there, then she's going to realize she can do anything she wants to you or anybody else in the future, and they'll always cave when she throws her little, I won't come out of my room, I'm melting down nonsense. No. If her friends came to you and they were genuine and nice and saying, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry what happened between you two and, and what she did was wrong, but she's really in a bad place. Could you go talk to her anyway? Then maybe that would have been different. But the way her BFF was berating him and saying it's his fault and everything, no freaking way. And then the one dude getting in his way, getting in his path and cornering him, a Marine, no freaking way. This gal needs to grow the hell up. All these kids need to grow the hell up. Even though you're the same age as them, as a Marine, you've been through a lot no, 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 no. You've grown up. They they are still growing up as if they'll ever grow. Don't go. She'll be fine. And anything happens to her, it's not your fault, okay? She needs to learn a very important lesson. And you're going to be doing a service to her in the world, but not giving her what she wants. Because if you go there to there, there, her, she's now learned whenever I do anything wrong, I don't have to take accountability and I can have a meltdown and some sucker is always going to there, there me and take me back or whatever, you know? Don't do it. And I might add, you might start feeling bad and actually she'll put on the waterworks and you'll see the tears and you might do something dumb. So now you handle it just right, bro. So walk away, end of story. And many of these people give you a hard time again. Well, you're a Marine. I'm sure you can figure out a way to uh, handle it accordingly. But you handle this like a boss. Good job. Stick with your original plan of the situation. Now a few comments here because they're always fun. One guy says here, she's responsible for her behavior. She cheated on you. You are fully in the right for cutting the relationship off. She and her friends need to stop manipulating your emotions. I've been cheated on and reacted exactly like you. I simply said, it's over. Oh, he, oh he's reading this part. This guy's just mentioning what the guy said. You said it's over. You know, you know your boundaries and what you will tolerate in the relationship. 
She crossed your boundaries and violated your standards for how you expect people to treat you. Aside from this relationship, if you feel that you're having emotional issues, it might be a good idea to see a therapist and talk about things. Working on your emotional and mental health issues doesn't make you weak. It takes a strong person to recognize these flaws, be able to have self-reflection, and work on themselves. Well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But in the Marines, he learned in a, to obviously bury things down deep and carry on, because that's what you have to do in a war zone or a tough situation, as I've heard. Another one says here, she's cheated and they spun things so she's the victim. Give me a break. She made the choice to kiss another man. Actions have consequences. She needs therapy, not a relationship. He says also, block everyone if you haven't. haven't. Next time you see them, don't give them the time of day. Well, maybe give them the bird. Another one. Remember this. Had your drunken buddy not run into her and taken photos just to be sure, she and her friends would have lied and gaslighted you in accepting a cheater. And if she got away with it once, she'll likely do it again. Of course. And who knows, she's been cheating on him the whole time, guys. And if she got away with it once, she'll do it again. This may not have been the first time, which how quickly it escalated, I doubt is it was. No, do yourself a favor and stay no contact. If she had any love for you at all, then you've taught her a valuable lesson. Actions have consequences. Yeah, well, young people don't seem to think of that nowadays. Move on from her. There are four billion other options out there. And one more, last one. The moment they find out that they managed to get you to see her by cornering you, my goodness, they will never leave you alone again. With every of her her emotional crisis, they come to you. Until you get back together with her and she cheats on you again. You are not her emotional support animal. You are not a therapist, nor do you have any type of training in dealing with people in this situation. You're either going to make things worse for her or worse for you. She is an adult. She needs to take responsibility for her mistakes. What do they want you to do? Console her for lying and cheating on you? I'm sorry you're feeling... I'm sorry you hurt my feelings. What the hell, dude? Yeah, exactly. That's Because at the end of the day, the, the, the way the uh, narrative is, the guy's always the bad guy here, and she's always... The gal's always the victim, and she's playing the victim. And I guarantee you she'd probably find some excuse to say, I did this, I cheated because of this, and you did this, or you didn't do this, or some nonsense. No. Walk away, dude. He handled it like a boss. He should walk away. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And, guys, you find a good story you want me to cover, definitely email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it, and I'll give it, get to when I get a chance. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.